Namaskar. <coughs> Good evening. Uh, Acting High Commissioner, Consul General, uh, dear friends, uh, it's really a very great pleasure to be with all of you this evening. Uh, I'm completing my visit to South Africa. I leave tomorrow, but I've had a very, very good uh, three days here. And uh, uh, it's always nice to meet members of the Indian community. Uh, it's something which is very much a part of our tradition, uh, and I'm delighted I can do that this evening. Uh, listening to the Consul General, it also struck me that uh, uh, many of your forefathers came from Tamil Nadu and Andhra and that's where my forefathers also came from and some of you hail from Gujarat and that's what I represent in Parliament so perhaps I have a deeper deeper connect with many of you than uh, most Indian ministers so uh, I, I kind of uh, rebel in that uh, for a moment uh, I also uh, I must say I was uh, very struck by uh, your introduction to Vande Matra uh, because uh, in a way uh, I think the message was very much of a globalized world where uh, Indians and people of Indian origin uh, really live across multiple countries and wherever they are they have been contributing citizens they have been uh, really uh, both uh, uh, in many ways a successful example in the country where they reside but they also are a source of pride uh, for the country from which they come now uh, what I thought I would do today uh, was uh, since uh, uh, I'm here uh, uh, both as an Indian minister in South Africa but also representing my country at the BRICS, I would like to share with you my thoughts on three subjects. One, India-South Africa relations, which, of which we will formally uh, be marking 30 years this November. Our diplomatic relations began with the independence of South Africa uh, uh, 30 years ago. Uh, to share a little bit with you what happened, you know, how what we think about the BRICS and why that is important, not just for India, but also for India and South Africa. Uh, and we are again marking 15 years uh, of uh, BRICS summits. This is the 15th uh, summit which will happen a few months from now uh, in Johannesburg. And uh, I should also add, we are entering uh, a decade uh, in India uh, of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government. We have completed nine years. So these three subjects, 30 years of India-South Africa ties, 15 years of BRICS, nine years of Modi Sarkar, uh, these are three subjects on which I thought I would uh, share some views. So let me start with India and uh, South Africa. I, I think most of you know that our connections uh, are not just between two countries uh, uh, who have similar views, there is something very deeply emotional uh, about our connect. Uh, and uh, from the time when India got its independence, uh, in fact, pretty much from the very moment we got our independence, there was a very strong sentiment in India that our independence would not be complete uh, until South Africa got its independence. And the reason for that was that our respective struggles were so deeply intertwined uh, and that was of course most uh, uh, vividly expressed by uh, the, uh, the personality and by the message of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Now, as we became independent and uh, you know, continued to support uh, South Africa in its uh, struggle against apartheid, the, the symbolism of Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi took very deep root. So there was a particular association that we had uh, both with Nelson Mandela as an as a inspirational figure but also of him as the leader uh, of a people who was struggling to, uh, to control their own future and, uh, uh, and to establish their own identity. And uh, it was very natural that, uh, you know, when South Africa got its independence, uh, there was as much celebration in India as there was in this uh, very country. And I still remember uh, at that time, I was actually uh, uh, in, in Delhi, and uh, I remember all our public buildings, Rashtrapati Bhavan, the parliament, the central secretariat, were all actually lit up uh, for in celebration of uh, what was happening here. And uh, when we did establish our diplomatic footprint, uh, uh, this was actually a country where uh, we not only had a high commission, uh, but also uh, three other cities had an almost immediate presence uh, uh, of uh, uh, India. So, so Cape Town, 
uh, Joburg and uh, Durban. Uh, and uh, since then, I think uh, the, the tradition of close relations has continued. Uh, we were very honored to have uh, President Ramaphosa as the chief guest of our Republic Day uh, in 2019. And I would say that uh, that, that cordiality, that uh, uh, very, very uh, sort of intuitive support that we extend to each other has become today a very uh, central part uh, of our traditions. Uh, and so we have really India and South Africa located at two different continents, but working together very closely in the United Nations, uh, in the BRICS, of which we are members, uh, in a body called uh, IPSA, which is India, Brazil, and South Africa, uh, and in a variety of ways uh, between the two of us uh, directly. Now, our relations uh, in these three decades have, re have I think, uh, uh, flowered in every conceivable sense. Uh, today, uh, we have a trade account of about $18 billion. Uh, we are, in fact, I think South Africa's fourth largest trade partner, if I'm right. Uh, and Af South Africa is our largest trade partner in Africa. Uh, and obviously that, you know, the, the relationship is something that we continue to work upon. Uh, we hope uh, very much to see uh, trade and investments. We are a major investor in this country, expand in the years to come. And we also hope to see that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the exchanges between us uh, in various spheres uh, continue to multiply. Uh, I should also add that uh, the, both of us are members of the G20 grouping uh, and South Africa has been a very much a uh, source of support for us uh, there. Now, when I uh, contemplate the relationship and look at various developments uh, in some form or the other, uh, this relationship has always uh, been supportive of any initiative that has happened. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Ambassador Puneet Kundal was telling me that uh, the International Day of Yoga, which is one of uh, uh, our major initiatives which at, the, at the beginning of uh, Prime Minister Modi's government, uh, I'm told that this very hall actually hosted uh, the first uh, yoga uh, event uh, as part of those uh, uh, celebrations. Uh, but today we have moved uh, eight years later to a, to a different initiative, which is something called the International Year of Millets, uh, because uh, we believe very strongly that the production and consumption of millets would make a world of a difference uh, to global food security. Uh, and here too, you know, it's, it's an endeavor in which South Africa is supported. And, uh, you know, in these, these last few years, which have been very difficult for all of us because of the COVID, actually that sense of solidarity has become even stronger. Uh, this was one of the early countries where we sent vaccines and then we cooperated with South Africa to ensure that the vaccines were, uh, were uh, consumed by countries who uh, needed it very badly at that time. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, as we, as we come out of it and get on with life, there are different initiatives uh, and, you know, uh, it could be uh, something as uh, interesting for all of us like cricket, uh, where we see South African players, we see uh, South African coaches. Uh, I, I think we have a very close association with the uh, SA20 uh, league. Uh, and if uh, my memory uh, is right, I think this is also the hometown of five two places. So, so I know that, uh, thank you, uh, that uh, cricket uh, is also uh, a significant uh, bonding uh, between us. Uh, it could be in our diaspora connect. You know, there have been, I think, 15 awardees from South Africa uh, in the Pravasi Bharti Saman Awards, which is entirely fitting, considering how, how not just how deep our connect is, but the fact that the celebration of the Pravasi Bharti Divas is actually a day which connects us to South Africa. It is the day when Mahatma Gandhi uh, came back uh, from this country. Uh, or indeed, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the recent initiative we have of trying uh, to exchange uh, experiences and and uh, uh, in, the, in a sphere like wildlife, South Africa is one of the countries which has sent us uh, cheetahs and today we are trying to build on that to create something called the Big Cat Alliance. So as you can see, you know, in, in every conceivable way, uh, this relationship has grown very steadily. When I look around the world at close to about 200 countries and, you know, if I, if, you know, just gut reaction, look at the world and say, okay, who are our, some of our closest friends? I think this country very, very uh, naturally comes to mind and uh, that, is, uh, that is something which is reflected in a lot of what we say. Now, obviously, as we 
will be marking 33 decades of our contemporary relationship. Uh, a thought which will come to everybody's mind is, what is the vision for the relationship beyond that? So, uh, and uh, I, I will speak to you about what is happening in India in terms of how we contemplate the future. Uh, but definitely, uh, you know, we do see uh, a much more, uh, I would say, a world of greater mobility, uh, a, a world of greater sort of knowledge exchanges, if you would. Uh, uh, you know, a large part of what is happening in India and South Africa uh, reflects a global trend where countries uh, whose uh, cultures and identities and interests uh, were suppressed uh, in previous decades and centuries today are finding expression. So there will be journeys we will undertake, there will be points of intersection on that journeys, there will be times when we will motivate each other, support each other uh, and certainly uh, we see the rise of Africa uh, as very much to the uh, you know central to the larger trend 